Hey what's up guys, I'm Gunix here and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. So today's tutorial is not going to just be a regular Godot tutorial, because this tutorial is about pretty much any game engine really, since it's just a game development related tutorial, it's not necessarily just a Godot tutorial. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys about roughness textures and metallic textures in game development. So if you guys do learn something from this video, or you do uh, enjoy it, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this, and other varieties of content as well, and let's get right into it. So as you can see here, I've got this basic scene set up, where I've got these three cubes, and then I've got like a window over here, which is just a quad mesh. So the reason as to why I have these three cubes in a window here is because this is the little example scene that I've made in order to test out the reflectiveness of the roughness textures and also see how the metallic texture goes as well. I've also got a reflection probe here so then we can actually reflect these cubes onto the window because as we do play around with the window we are going to be seeing the reflections of these cubes in it. So first off, let's talk about roughness textures. Alright, so let's say for example you're making a game and you have a window which you want to add some reflectiveness to. Now obviously if we open up our window material here and then we turn down the roughness, so we just turn that all the way down to zero for example, as you can see, yes the window does become smoother, but it's the entire window texture itself which becomes smoother. You know, not just the window part right here, like this glass part like we want it to. So you might be thinking to yourself, well how do we only make it so then the glass part of the window texture is what becomes smoother? Well, that's where roughness textures come in. So as you can see here in my file system folder, I have my window roughness texture. So as you can see with my window, there are nine rectangles here, just as there are nine rectangles on my window roughness texture. So how I made this roughness texture is I opened up this window texture here in paint.net, or, you know, you can do it in any sort of, you know, art program, paint program, whatever, right? And then what I did was I created a new layer, and then I used the shape tool to basically make a bunch of black rectangles over the glass parts of the window. And then I filled in those squares with black, and then I made the rest of the texture white, as you can see here. So the reason as to why I did that is because black indicates smoothness, and white indicates roughness. So on your roughness texture, wherever you have more dark areas, that's going to indicate, you know, how smooth that part of the texture is going to be. But then the white basically means how rough it's going to be. So the lighter part of your texture is, you know, that's going to indicate roughness. But then the more darker part of your texture is going to indicate smoothness. So how smooth it's going to be. So do keep that in mind when making roughness textures. Okay, so with my window here, right, if I go to my, uh, my roughness section of the material and then I just apply my roughness texture, as you can see now, we can actually see reflections inside of the glass part of the texture. So as you can see, there are now no more weird reflections coming off of the wooden part of the window. Nope, it's now only just on the glass. So yeah, we can actually now see these cubes here through this glass. And so that there is how roughness textures work. So basically, blacker areas indicate smoothness, wider areas indicate roughness. So yeah, do keep that in mind. So another thing I want to talk about is metallic textures. Now the interesting thing about metallic textures is they are the complete opposite. So as you can see here, when I switch between my roughness and metallicness, what's the one thing that you notice? Well, it's just that the colors are simply inverted. Yep, that's it. The colors are inverted. That's the only difference with the metallicness and the roughness. So on metallic textures, the white indicates how metallic uh, the texture is going to be, and then the black indicates how non-metallic it's going to be. So the lighter a texture is, then that's going to indicate more, you know, metallicness, whilst black indicates less metallicness. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my window material, into the metallic section here, so once we do set our metallic texture, the glass part of the window will become metallic, whilst the rest of the window will stay normal. So here I go, just going to set this now, and boom. So now as you can see, uh, the window reflectiveness looks a lot more different because it actually has metallic applied to it now. It's almost like uh, looking through uh, a mirror in a way. 
because the color is all, you know, pretty clear. That's what happens when you have complete smoothness and complete metallicness. It's almost like it just becomes like a mirror, sort of. And yeah, so as you can see, uh, the rest of the window texture is all rough and non-metallic, but then the glass parts are metallic and smooth. So anyways guys, that's going to be pretty much the end of this tutorial. If you did enjoy, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Hopefully you guys have learned something about roughness textures and metallic textures today. So if you're ever making a window of your own in your game, then you know how to properly use roughness textures in order to get the more smoother look on your window. And then for the metallic, you can use that for whatever you like as well. If you want to make a mirror even, and make sure that the wooden parts of your mirror uh, don't go metallic, you know, you can make a, a metallic texture for that. Because whenever I do make stuff like mirrors, I do like to make it metallic as well. Because as you can see here, um, it's pretty reflective with the metallicness, but then if we actually get rid of the metallicness, as you can see, it's uh, no longer, you know, fully visible. I mean, it is still visible, you know, like you can still the see the reflectiveness thanks to the roughness map, but it's not like, you know, as clear as with the metallic map. So anyways, guys, again, that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you all learned something today and see you all soon. Bye-bye.